Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to another video from Unbox Underground. I'm Walter Harris, and in this video we're going to do an unboxing of the of the Faded Glory slip-on canvas sneakers, shoes, whatever you want to call them. Now Faded Glory is a very popular brand, man. You may have bought their jeans and my favorite, their pocket t-shirts, which lasted me a good while. What else did they make? I think they made jackets. Other and other access, clothing accessories and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's, this is a brand I usually trust from Walmart, man. So, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. And apparently, unlike most shoes from Walmart, this apparently feels like it's in a, inside of a box. So, oh, okay. No need for a box cutter. Let's move that out of the way. Yeah, this box is a bit crushed. I apologize. Damn. And here they are. As you can see, Faded Glory, if you can see that. It also says it says so in, in the Faded Glory. Size 12. Yeah, I got these for like $7.97. I mean, this is the only store where you see some slip on sneakers for less than $10. You see, when you look at other online stores, they usually sell as much as the laced, the, the, the higher tier brand laced ones. You see, something that, something that looks so much like these, which are probably made in the same factory. You'll probably be paying like thirty or forty dollars more for them. Now, the reason why I bought these because um, I like these better than I like these. These these last longer than slippers, you know. And um, it's very rubbery. It's hundred percent rubber. I can feel it. Here is a bit smooth. You know, it seems like the molding is a bit rough. You can see where the where the rubber feed was 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 going in. This is where the rubber. They usually cast their molds right here in this spot, so I can see where where the where the the raw material flow originally was. But I like the pattern, and this is the most this is the most grippiest part right here. But everything else is rubbery, very smooth. And oh, right here is very rubbery as well. So they put it where it counts. Now a lot of times it's very smooth and plastic, plasticky, but when you as you walk in them. It'll probably expose the more rubber, but at least the rubber is in the most vital parts, right here and down here. Excuse my voice. And so non-marking sole, size 12, navy canvas. And um, that's pretty much it. Oh, as you can see, they were meant to be put on the rack, of course. So like I said. They probably made them that way so they can like glide, so they, they can like coast through on, a, on the conveyor belt while they're being manufactured. And I actually, and I don't think I'll be able to buy, I'll, I'll never buy slippers again because um, I bought these. Some of you guys probably saw the unboxing of these, or the first look at these. And these were my um, old um, Batman slip-on shoes. Yes, man, I wore the crap out of them. They're kind of like an eyesore, man, but they've lasted me like two years and then they were the most comfortable. More comfortable than slippers, man. They felt like second-hand shoes, man. I mean, um, second feet. And I didn't have to bother to tie, tie them up or any, anything like that. I didn't have to worry about shoelaces or nothing. And, uh, yeah. And occasionally I, take, I throw them in the washer. So it's, to make the graphics last a bit longer. But as you can see, they ran their course. I really like these. Oh, man. Yeah, I wore these for two years. Um... So I'm done, with, I'm done with clogs and slippers, man. And clogs don't usually have that much rubber under them. They tend to slide around a bit, so. Man, so from now on, these are what I'm gonna be wearing around the house. 
I'm going to try these on now so, so you guys can have a good look at them. Give you guys a short review. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. It didn't take me long to put these on, so I'm going to let you guys have a good look at these. Here they are. These are from, those are really nice looking shoes, man. I really like the elastic at the sides on the upper flap. Makes sliding in much easier. It's very flexible. No problem. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. These feel really comfortable, though. But if it, but if you guys have a uh, preference in com in comfort, you can always buy some shoes from Dollar General or Amazon or someplace like that, or at your local supermarket in your size. They even have them in size 12. And um, I think the biggest size they have is like 13, and you can at least like cut it down to a 12. Or you can just use it right out of its packaging. Either way, they sell those kinds as well. But yeah, man, these are these are really good, man. Um, it's going to take a while for me to get used to these because since mine have been worn down, my Batman ones, I've been wearing I've been wearing lace up sneakers. You know the ones I use when I'm working around the house, so and mowing the lawn in. And you know how green those get, especially on the outsoles. So, I've been, I've been waiting for these for a good bit, man. Except for, for $7.94, I believe, as you saw on the price tag. Really good deal, man. I give these a 5 out of 5, man, because these are going to last me like a, either t a year or to a year and a half. And, and believe me, if I find some printed ones, like the, like the Batman ones I've shown you, um, I'll get those too. I wish that Marvel made some, but that's okay, man. I decided to go plain and get some solid colored ones. I guess these blue ones match, match my, um, no, it don't. I think these, I think these are black. No, these are blue. Yeah, these match my sweatpants, actually. But I wish I got them in black. Black can go with anything. But it's okay. Give these a five out of five. I like these shoes. If you see them on sale, don't worry if they don't come in the box, man. These are these are just as good as the ones that will come in the box. I guess they're doing that nowadays to like conserve natural resources. So that's probably the reason. Because I remember back in the day, everything, every everything, everything you put on your feet came in a box. But that's how it is, man. So you just witnessed the the unboxing of the of the faded glory slip-on canvas sneakers. Or shoes and I'm out. You guys have a good day, good night. Peace.